Hi there. I uh, wanted to tell you about my Setma cargo bike. I finally got it rolling. I uh, wrote about it a couple months ago that I had ordered it. Uh, well, I finally got it on the road. Uh, it took about six months from ordering to actually getting uh, Lucy in it for a ride. Uh, but we've done it and uh, been riding with it for, I don't know, about a week, I guess. Um, so I've got some initial impressions that I thought I'd go through with you. Uh, first question anyone asks is, is it weird having the wheel so far up there and how does it steer? Um, and the first time you get on it, it's really strange. There's no getting around it. It's, uh, it's just a weird feeling. Uh, every little minor correction you make makes a big adjustment in the way it moves, uh, which is a little strange, but you get used to it. Uh, it's funny, you'll ride this for a while and then switch over to a regular bike and you think it handles funny. Um, so that's the biggest difference, clearly. It's heavy, there's no getting around that either. Uh, but with a cargo bike, you don't expect it to be light. Um, of course, I've added a box on it so that uh, Lucy can sit. I had that made by a uh, bicyclist here in town who's also a carpenter. His name's Larry Robinson. And so he custom built the box for us. And then uh, we added a harness and stained it. Um, it hauls a lot, which is really cool. I mean, uh, you know, I've got Lucy in there and several bags of groceries, but the greatest thing is she's up front and I can see her and that's really exciting. Uh, so I'm really happy about that. So far I'm really loving it. Um, what did I build it up with? That's another question. What are the components? Uh, so I went, I went all out. I've got an eight speed Alfine internal gear hub and I've got the Alfine uh, generator hub in the front and then the Alfine cranks. I went with a Velo Orange Sprung Saddle, wanted to try that. So far I'm liking that a lot. Um, I went with Sun Rhinolite wheels front and rear. The front's a 20 inch, the rear is a 26 inch. I've ordered the uh, lights, haven't yet gotten them, uh, but I'll get those on there soon. Uh, let's see. I'm going with Schwalbe Marathon Pluses on the front and rear wheels. I uh, like them, although I already have had a flat on the front, but to be fair, it was about a two inch uh, thorn, so I don't think much of anything would have stopped that. I am running um, tire liners, both front and rear as well. Overall price, uh, I, haven't, I haven't been brave enough to go calculate it all up yet. Uh, the frame itself was 1850 uh, plus shipping, and then all the components on top of that. So it's not an inexpensive bike. Lane just uh, created a complete bike with some pretty decent components. That cost 2850, I think, is what it is for the complete bike plus shipping, which I think is $300. And then if you wanted a box, it would be on top of that. Um, overall, I really, I really like it really do enjoy having Lucy up front. Gives her a little place to play. I get to see what she's doing, what she's looking at. We get to talk a little more. And that's been really nice. You get used to the handling pretty quickly. Um, and it seems like, so far, it rides a lot better with more weight in the front. Uh, when, it's, when it's light. You wanna go down there? When it's light, you got it's a little more squirrely. Uh, when you've got some weight in the front, the minor adjustments you make aren't quite as extreme. Uh, so that's kind of my initial impression so far. Uh, feel free to ask any questions in the comment section, and I'll try and respond to them as best as I can. Thanks for reading, and uh, we'll talk to you soon.